Imagine brewing a beer so unique it stirs up a trademark complaint. This is the saga of Bewilder Brewing Company nestled in the heart of Salt Lake City. They crafted an IPA like no other, the Deseret IPA. The name Deseret, drawn from the Book of Mormon, translates to Honey Bee, a fitting inspiration for the brewery's recipe. But this sweet tale takes a bitter turn. The uniqueness of the name and the recipe didn't just stir up intrigue among beer lovers, but also led to a trademark complaint. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which uses the term Deseret extensively, raised an eyebrow at its association with alcohol, especially since practitioners of the Mormon faith are called to abstain from such beverages. The brewing company, initially standing its ground, eventually had to abandon their trademark for the name, and so ends the tale of the Deseret IPA, a beer born from creativity, only to be stung by a trademark complaint. But what's in a name? Well, apparently a lot if it's on a beer bottle. This is the tale of a bitter trademark tussle that spewed over from a brewery in Salt Lake City. Bewilder Brewing Company, the creators of the Deseret IPA, found themselves in a sticky situation when they attempted to trademark the name of their honey-infused brew. The word Deseret, you see, is derived from the Book of Mormon and translates to honeybee, a fitting name for a beer that incorporates honey into its recipe. However, this didn't sit well with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The church, along with its affiliated businesses, fiercely opposed the brewery's trademark filing. Why, you ask? Well, it might have a little something to do with the fact that the Mormon faith strongly discourages the consumption of alcohol. The association of a religious term with a beverage that goes against their teachings was a hard pill to swallow. In the end, the battle was lost, but not the war. The brewery might have had to discontinue Deseret IPA, but this was just a new beginning. When one keg closes, another one opens. In the midst of this brewing tumult, the spirit of resilience and creativity at Bewilder Brewing Company is as effervescent as the beers they craft. Instead of wallowing in the bitterness of the loss, they've chosen to see this event as an opportunity, a chance to stir up something fresh and exciting in their brew kettles. Imagine the clatter of malted grains, the slow simmer of hops, and the steady bubbling of yeast working its magic. In the heart of Salt Lake City, a new beer is being born, one that will carry forward the legacy of the Deseret IPA, but with a twist all its own. The aroma of innovation fills the air, a testament to the brewery's commitment to their craft and their ability to rise above adversity. The tale of the Deseret IPA, the bee-inspired beer that caused quite a buzz, will be remembered not as a tale of defeat, but as a catalyst for a new chapter in Bewilder's brewing journey. So here's to new beginnings, to the joy of brewing, and to the unforgettable tale of the bee-inspired beer that buzzed a bit too loudly.